My name is Jean Alexander. I'm an attorney in the San Francisco City Attorney's Office. I supervise the tax team, giving tax advice to the treasurer, tax collector, drafting tax legislation. The thing that I remember my mother telling me as a child is that you need to be prepared to take care of yourself. And I knew that I wanted to be able to do something that I enjoyed. I didn't expect anybody to give me anything because nobody ever gave her anything. And I also, I always saw her fighting for the things that she wanted in life for herself and for her children. My name's Jasmine Flores. I'm working as an admin assistant at the city attorney's office. I have felt intimidated in some tasks that I've been given, but on those days that I can show up and I held my own, it's empowering. For me, I think my personal happiness would be out being more active and being more involved in a person-to-person -person interaction. My dream jobs include being a physician, a nurse, a paramedic, firefighter, working with animals or the public on a personal level for self-improvement. My sister is the biggest influence in my life because she taught me to go for what makes you happy um, rather than what makes you the most money. I graduated from law school in 1972 at a time when there was a beginning to be an influx of women into the legal profession and tried criminal cases for about 10 years, treatment for delinquents, operated programs, government budgets, analyzed fiscal legislation. I came to the San Francisco City Attorney's Office and I've been here for about 12 years advising on tax matters. I did just about anything you can think of, some things that lawyers do and some things that lawyers don't do. I'm from the Mission in San Francisco. I've grown up there and I've lived there pretty much my whole life. Living there, I do see other women some of them older, some of them look just like me, just like my age, and a lot of them work nanny jobs, child care jobs, you know, retail jobs. I don't know, it seems kind of like a reminder that you're kind of lucky to be where you are, I guess, which is a little sad when you haven't gone so far at all. I want them to go on, maybe go on an interview that's more challenging, that they think that they can't get that job. You know, just kind of challenge and, and maybe surprise themselves when they get that job and feel better. There had been women practicing law for many years, but there were so few of them that a lot of the issues hadn't really uh, come into play. And some of them were fairly easily worked out. Some of them are still being resolved, like equal pay, partnership for women in law firms, making sure that women get fair assignments and that they're included in the decision-making in the upper levels of government and law firms and other things. I consider myself more a beneficiary of all the women that fought really difficult battles along the way.